Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Protec Runt. And of course, this is the newest version of the Runt. Um, it just came out a little bit ago. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So get this stuff out of the way. And let's see what is... What is in here? Okay. Well, this is definitely an upgrade. This is just the, you know, like the paper sleeve. This is definitely an upgrade um, from the usual Protec boxing. You know, the like the box, the boxes. Um, I'm sure you've seen them. They're like they're about this size, but they're they're black and they kind of have a magnet opening. So I don't know if this is just a special thing for the runt, but fancy, very fancy. Okay, so that's what we got. The blue, yeah, it's blue. You guys know, it's my favorite color. Runt, oh, so it's, it's the Runt 5. Okay, cool. And this is in 20 CV, the reverse Tanto. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. See what we have in here. This is a really nice case. Hmm, I wonder if they're doing that on all their knives or just for the Runt. Um, I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. And let's open it up. See what it looks like. Awesome. Comes in a little... Protec pouch. Now, the runt was kind of Protec's like first, I think it might have been their first, was it their first automatic, their first knife? So there's some nice oil in there. Um, let's see if I have the, yeah, I'll just use this. Um, so I think it was their first, it might have been their first knife, the, the runt. It definitely, I think it was one of the, it might have, it might have started started it all for Protec. I remember hearing that somewhere. Um, and actually, this already feels very similar to one of my, not only favorite Protec knives, but favorite all-time knives, uh, the Protec Calmigo, which is, again, a sub two-inch auto. It, it might even be the same, feels very similar. It might even be the same uh, handle size, handle length. All right, let's get this fired open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is serious. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this definitely hits harder than... I didn't think this was that was possible, uh, but this hits harder than my Calmigos. And yes, I have multiple Calmigos. If you don't know about that knife, definitely go look it up. The only difference... And when I do my full review of this, I'll, I'll get into that. But the only difference is the Calmigo has... Um, well, a little bit, little bit different, different, different blade shape, um, and also the Calmigo has a has a safety. But um, wow, let's fire it off again. Really snappy. I'm definitely gonna have to do a comparison with the with this runt and the Calmigo. The uh, handles, the scales are aluminum. Protect does most of their uh, handles in aluminum. I think it's great. I mean, this this actually, I wonder if this is a different coating or a different, I don't know, this feels much better than my Calmigos. <laughs> Damn it, what? Actually, this feels nicer than the aluminum on my other Protex, on my older Protex. So I'm not sure what they did, but it's really like smooth and chamfered, knocked down. Wow, so the, the handles feel really great. <sighs> Got some very well placed, ingenious. I, mean, I guess that's kind of jimping. It's like little scalloped, you know, scalloped uh, edges, <laughs> scalloped aluminum. Just kind of took these little chunks out. Really nice. Good grip. For a small knife, sub two inches, this has great ergos. I don't know if I like it better than my Calmigo, but the runt is definitely. Definitely doing it for me. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. When I first um, heard that they were doing another run of these, the, the Run 5, which apparently that's what this is, um, I saw a couple different blade shapes, and they said, you know, later on they're coming out with this reverse Tanto, and I knew that if I was gonna get this knife, I, I was gonna wait for the reverse Tanto. It's just, this is just such a, this is like the ultimate box cutter, you know? It's, you can, you know, it's handy, it's uh, fast, take out of your pocket, 
one hand button and then back in your pocket. I think I can do that. I think I can close this with one hand. Yeah, so really convenient. Convenient is the word I was looking for. Super convenient, especially with this blade shape. I think the other, I think it was like a Warncliffe, the other um, blade shape they had for the runt. Eh, didn't really do it for me. This this just fits the whole aesthetic. I think it fits with the handle a lot better. And it also, if you didn't know how big this knife was, if my hand wasn't in the shot, it almost looks like the Malibu, like the uh, Reverse Tanto Malibu. Similar kind of design lines, but of course this is an auto, and the Malibu is a button lock. Really snappy. It, it's so snappy, it like shakes, <laughs> it shakes the, the damn desk and shakes the... Uh, the the um, like the, the camera stand or the phone stand <sighs> ridiculous um so the blade of course reverse tanto and there's a really nice stone wash i always prefer like you know to see these, the grind lines to get some you know belt satin in there or even actually I, i've really been liking like a sand blast or like a bead blast blade finish also um so stone wash isn't my first choice but for a knife that i know i'm gonna really beat the crap out of and use every day even when i'm carrying other knives this is gonna be in in my pocket because it's so small it's you know so convenient so snappy um so if i know i'm really gonna go hard on a knife then stone wash is a great thing yep do you see that yep <laughs> countersunk, sunk into the scale, nothing to catch on my pocket, amazing, nice deep carry clip, um, oh yes, the big thing, the big thing with these runs and some of the newer Protex, they have upgraded to 20 CV, which is of course a, you know, premium steel, uh, like a super steel, very similar to M390 or uh, 204P. And a lot of their models, I mean, I think they still might be using um, 154, you know, which is, it's not, not a budget steel. It's kind of in between, you know, medium. Um, a lot of makers, a lot of custom makers use 154. And um, Protec has that on a lot of their knives. Where is my... I don't have it up here. Oh, well. So um, it's it's nice to see that they, they upgraded to 20 CV for at least the runs. And I know the Malibus are also 20 CV. So that's very cool. I wonder what other knives they're using 20 CV or what steel they are using. Because they use 154 uh, CM for a long, long, long time. Um, and that was kind of their, their go-to. So it's cool. I think they're taking, you know, taking the feedback and feedback slash criticism of people and saying hey we want a more premium steel so that's very cool um i guess that's a lanyard hole yeah awesome well first impressions very positive i love this color the aluminum feels better than any protec i've felt so obviously they're doing something better they're doing something right the blade shape really kick-ass blade shape reverse tanto and they've upgraded the blade steel really really good so far it is out of the box it is out of the really kind of fancy protect box and um first impressions are positive so that was the expensive no not the, the fancy box um slamming too loudly oh and by the way this this thing is not that pricey this is like 120 130 um which for, you know, for being USA made, insane action, you know, and, and really good customer service from Protec. I think that is a steel, really solid deal. Um, I will put this in pocket and carry it a little bit, see what it's all about, how it cuts. And then I will be back with my, uh, my full review. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.